This morning, doctors continue to learn about COVID complications in patients who live with heart disease. Now, beating COVID is just the beginning, and as deadly as the virus has been, heart disease remains the number one killer in the country for women. I caught up with Novant Health cardiologist Dr. Sandy Charles. People with heart disease, unfortunately, are at higher risk of having severe complications of COVID. Dr. Sandy Charles cares for the hearts of women across Charlotte. That found that up to 90% of patients who had severe COVID and who were hospitalized, um, of those that were discharged, about 90% of them still had symptoms two months afterwards. She's the medical director at Novant Health's Women's Heart and Vascular Center and a member of the American Heart Association. More than one in three women live with some sort of cardiovascular disease. A recent study shows surviving COVID doesn't necessarily mean getting better, as symptoms like fatigue and pain can linger for months. Even if you've had mild COVID, it, it may affect the heart with something called inflammation. And this inflammation of the heart can be seen for months after um, someone has uh, had COVID, and, and that can cause prolonged shortness of breath and chest pains. Underlying cardiovascular risk factors like smoking, obesity, and diabetes also make fighting COVID more difficult. Dr. Charles says the pandemic shouldn't be an excuse to put off prioritizing heart health. And now in this COVID era, women are doing more than they ever had, working from home, doing virtual learning from the kids, maintaining the health household, helping, you know, extended family, and, and, and we frequently prioritize everyone else and put ourselves at the bottom of that list. Now, Dr. Charles says if you've had COVID and have heart disease, stay in touch with your doctor, and she says don't let the pandemic keep you from seeing your doctor for a checkup.